So I thought I'd show you what we did to uh, put this sawmill together. We had this old trailer uh, that was just sitting around on the farm and it was used to pull uh, right on more around from one place to another. So we've set in to modify it to uh, mount our new sawmill on. And my grandson, Mason, he was down for a summer break. And so we started this little project and I let him do most of the work. I did the welding. I let him do the cutting and grinding and learn how to use the power tools. And I know it was a good experience for him. We removed some of the uh, braces, cross braces, and uh, added in <clears throat> some braces better braces, stronger ones in particular places. We extended the length of the trailer so that we could uh, cut a 16 foot log. We learned how to clamp up the material. We had a little bit of trouble. do some more welding here. Learned how to use the band saw. He's cleaning up the rust off the metal so we can get some good welds. Clamping it up. Now we got the trailers ready for the saw. We started laying out the rails. There's the rails going together. And there they are. They're in this video to show you what we have to work with. And the supports obviously don't have anything under them like they should have. So an idea would be take some pressure treated two by sixes 49 inches long and bolt them down into the frame. So I've got all the rails in place. I think that'll be strong enough to hold it in place. Figure I'm probably having to put some bolts through those little adjuster feet. so that it don't fall off when you're trailering it. Here's the assembled saw. This is my work crew for the summer. Oldest grandson, Mason. Younger brother, Finn. Saw's ready to go. And then about a year later, we set it up and started sawing logs. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. And have a good day.